Hey y'all, coming to you from the International Headquarters of Scotty DTV, but I was at the 2021 NSRA Street Rod Nationals in Louisville, Kentucky, and I came across a very cool 1978 Trans Am I think y'all are going to like. Let me get the camera turned around, we'll take a quick look at it. What a cool car, Chris. I appreciate it, Scotty. Thank you so much, man. man it's not what I'm used to seeing from you, but uh, man, you really pulled it off. Right. Well, I, I appreciate it. You know, we kind of stepped outside the box on this one a little bit, and uh, uh, I hope we're encouraging more people to get into this kind of thing now, and you know, so our, our hobby slash sport job evolves, and right. you know, so. But yeah, people are digging it, man. No, I am. I'm a Trans Am fan. It's my first car, so yeah, really? no, it passed the test for a Trans Am fan. Well, very cool. Our age, we, you know, we all remember smoking the Bandit oh, yeah, and Burt yeah. Reynolds, and it did not get any cooler than no, flying down no. the road. And, Running over mailboxes and jumping creeks, you know. If you, so if you, if you if you couldn't get something with a Trans Am <laughs> and, and under you, you you were done. You you might as well give up. Right on, right yeah. on. Yeah. So. No, I love that silver leaf bird. Man, who did that? So I had uh, Jeremy Sainer uh, from Lucky Strike come down to South Carolina, and uh, we spent a day, and and he did that, and he did it all by hand, and it's real silver leaf, laid the leaf and spun it by hand. He's just he's a bad man. man. He is super talented. I would you know? agree with you. I'm. I'm a painter and a builder. Right. He's an artist. There's a difference. <laughs> no, and I told you, I, we put one of them birds on from the sticker from the factory, and what a pain that is. So I can't imagine making your own custom silver leaf. Just beautiful. Yeah, he just he just come up with it off the top of his head, too. Gorgeous. I mean, just yeah. talent. Because it kind of resembles ours. a dash, right? Because you got to turn dash in the train. We do, yeah. So you know, when you put it out there on the hood, it fits perfect. That's, that's, that's iconic, right, yeah. the Trans Am. They had to turn dash. What other changes have you made to it? Well, uh, probably one of the biggest changes we made, uh, we flush mounted the front and the rear glass, and we had Fessler. Uh, the glass didn't exist probably till about 10 days ago. Holy cow. <laughs> so we built the car off of prototype glass, and uh, they finally shipped us the glass, and we had it put in it after interior. But like all the, the spoilers and the wheel flares that were cheesy fiberglass and plastic back in the day, uh, you know, they're all metal now. We, oh, wow. We fabbed all that out of metal, and we, we toned it down a little bit, took a little bit of the... Um, the cool gaudiness out of the Trans Am and kind of refined it a little bit, right, you right. know. Made it flow a little better. Exactly. I love that color. What color is that? That's a uh, new BMW color called Donington Gray. So, and uh, the door handles come off a, a newer Nissan GTR. Oh, wow, cool. We, ha we had to order them from Japan. They wouldn't sell them to us in the state. Oh, really? Yeah, we had to have a VIN number to buy door handles. And I'm thinking, okay. are you kidding me? So, right. you know, get on good old eBay Go and order from Japan. Lot, start yeah. a VIN number <laughs> off of some car in a parking lot and be like, yeah, this is the one. Right on. Right what on. size tires and wheels? It's got uh, 325 30 19s in the rear, and I think it's 275 40s in the front. Uh, on Firestones. Mike Curtis did our wheels for us. They're a one-off wheel. Mike has done our wheels for the last 15 years and yeah, he just always nails at the wheels. You if, know? You, if you see one-off cool custom wheels, usually at Curtis's made them. You're yeah. darn right. So and we got all Rytec chassis underneath it. Um, we have DSC wheel tubs, DSC frame connectors. We even have the uh, Rytec tiger cage that goes from the front through the rear into the trunk oh, to wow. tie it all, tighten it up. You know, because a uh, a T-top car kind of flexes and oh, twists yeah, yeah. a little bit, sure. you know. So we had to we had to stiffen it up a little bit. What power is it? Uh, six liter Bouchard Racing LS, okay. about 600 horse. Wow. So it ought to motor it down there pretty good. Uh, right. We haven't really driven it yet, so we're kind of anxious to get it out and you know do some smoky burnouts and whip up on it because that's what a Trans Am was for. Oh, so. No doubt about it. Um, and if you build it, I'm yeah. sure it can do that. <laughs> right. Right. So it uh, yeah we're we're thrilled that uh, John did the motor for us in it, and uh, we got a 4L80 behind it. Um, Chuck Hanna did the interior, the red leather, Beautiful. all hand-stitched, the hand-stitched around the roll cage and wow. the, the seats. So, no. yeah, he, he uh, he's probably done every interior for us for the last 20 years, too. So. But that was something new for him, too, though. Yeah, it yeah. was. Right. Yeah, he's more of a street roddy guy, right, and, right. and, you know, did some stuff with DSE, and, uh, we're not really sure where this car fits yet. Is, right. is it a street rod, a, a pro touring car, a custom, or yeah, so something in between? I guess. It's a little aggressive pro touring because of the roll yeah. bar. You know, we talked yeah. about it yesterday. But you know, I don't think it's full street machine because it's so refined. Yeah. You know, it's, I mean, it's almost too smooth for a street machine. So there again, you've created your own category. Well, thank you. I appreciate yeah. it. You know, no. we, we we try to step outside the box and do something a little bit different that hasn't been seen yet or done. Yeah, you nailed it, brother. Very cool car. Pre appreciate it, Scotty. Yeah. Thanks so much, thank man. Thank you, brother. So there you go from the 2021 NSRA Street Rod Nationals in Louisville, Kentucky. One very cool 1978 Pontiac Trans Am. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya!
Hey y'all, make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.